Hi, I'm Professor Helen Murphy. We've learned a lot about using the MyLifeCam APS FX closed loop system in pregnancy. The ADAPT study was a large randomized control trial that was published in 2023 in the New England Journal of Medicine. 124 participants with an HbA1c ranging from 6 to 14% or 42 to 130 millimole per mole were included in this study which compared using closed loop to insulin therapy with real-time CGM. MyLifeCam APS FX was found to significantly improve maternal glucose levels during pregnancy. These improvements were applicable for all women living with type 1 diabetes no matter their starting HbA1c or the previous use of technology. As a result of this research, MyLifeCam APS FX is the only CE-marked hybrid closed-loop system with proven efficacy in pregnancy. Planning pregnancy is essential for the best outcomes. Ideally, women with type 1 diabetes should be started on the MyLifeCam APS FX closed loop system before they stop taking contraception and actively start trying to have a baby. If this is not possible, the sooner it is started the better. In my clinic, if women are not on MyLifeCam APS FX prior to pregnancy, we try to start it around 8 weeks. We expect to see marked improvement in time in the pregnancy glucose target range within days. Ideally, achieving an HbA1c around 48 millimole per mole or 6.5% and spending 70% or more time in range is recommended before becoming pregnant. When pregnant, the glucose targets are tightened. The HbA1c target is 42 millimole per mole or 6%. Time in range target is adapted to spend more than 70% of time between 3.5 to 7.8 millimole per liter or 63 to 140 milligram per deciliter. There are a few settings that you can optimize on MyLifeCam APS FX as the pregnancy progresses. In the first trimester, when the risk of hypos is higher, we recommend that the personal glucose target is set to 5.5 millimole per liter or 99 milligrams per deciliter. As soon as possible in the second trimester, the personal glucose target can be lowered to 5 millimole per liter or 90 milligram per deciliter in the daytime. Consider adjusting the target from bedtime to waking to 4.5 millimole per liter or 81 milligrams per deciliter. The insulin to carbohydrate ratio needs to be reviewed frequently as the pregnancy progresses and insulin resistance increases. Choosing low glycemic index carbohydrates and keeping the portion sizes small but spreading them throughout the day will help achieve optimal nutrition but also in target glucose readings. Ideally, insulin needs to be given at least 10 to 15 minutes before eating. This timing may need to be increased later in pregnancy. Body weight contributes towards helping CAM APS FX manage post-meal glucose levels. We recommend that body weight is updated every four weeks in the CAM APS FX app. Boost is a feature that makes my life CAM APS FX more responsive. To help bring glucose levels back into range more quickly. During pregnancy, we encourage women to use Boost more proactively. For example, if post-meal glucose levels are high, using Boost for 2 to 4 hours can really help. If Boost needs to be used frequently, the insulin to carbohydrate ratio needs to be reviewed. Women should still be vigilant and check for ketones if their glucose is running high. They should also have a low threshold for changing the infusion set and cannula if a set failure is suspected. Towards the end of the pregnancy it is good to plan the setting changes that need to be made immediately after the birth. The personal glucose target needs to be increased to 6.0 millimole per liter or 108 milligrams per deciliter across the 24 hours of the day. Agree the postnatal carbohydrate ratios that should be programmed into the system after the birth. Program a reduced pump basal pattern beyond the pump. Pattern A should have been optimized throughout the pregnancy for times of open loop such as when the sensor is warming up. Only swap to pattern B on the pump after the birth. Document all these changes in the medical notes. During the birth, 
MyLifeCam APS FX can continue to manage insulin delivery. If a C-section is needed and diathermy is used, please check the accuracy of the sensor. After the birth, very little insulin may be needed in the first 24 hours. The real priority is to avoid hypos. Remember to set a higher personal glucose target and insulin to carbohydrate ratios. Consider using EaseOff to make the algorithm more relaxed and reducing the pre-meal insulin bolus, especially if breastfeeding. There is no need to try restart the algorithm. It will quickly adjust to the post-pregnancy requirements. Please change the time in range setting back to 3.9 to 10 millimol per liter or 70 to 180 milligrams per deciliter in the app. The ADAPT results showed that those women using MyLifeCam APS FX at 6 months after the birth were achieving 70% time in range, even while caring for a newborn. Thank <music> you.